I'm Dan Johnson talking to Chip Irwin, who's going to fill me in on this airplane that has created quite a buzz of light. Chip, welcome. Tell me a little bit about the Merlin Light. The Merlin Light is, a, is, is really a game-changing ultralight. It's nothing like we flew in the 80s, 90s. There's nothing like it at all. It, it has a size, space. for. It has a cockpit. It has a windshield. It has a door. It has seven windows. It's a cantilevered wing, so it's easy to get in and out. There's nothing in the way. It's all aluminum. It can stay outside. It has huge flaps. It actually has flaps, but it has five <laughs> position flaps with a 50-degree position. You can see it here, polar flaps. Way effective. down there they Very are. Very effective flaps. <clears throat> it has a, a full a conventional uh, dashboard. It, you know, it's got a EFAS with a multifunction airspeed G meter, vertical speed, altimeter, uh, and artificial horizon in the ultralight. It has a GPS in that. It has a second GPS if you have a tablet because there's room for an iPad. And Which then you have, have, then you have the radar. Words. You have radar right. on this plane. You have you can see the thunderstorms and you can see the moving map. And then you have an EMS so you can have all the parameters of the the engine. So, and it's a liquid cooled. Two stroke. Yeah, uh, tell me, tell me a little bit. Start at the front okay. and walk me back mm, from the uh, Polini engine here. First off, we have a carbon um, lightweight ground adjustable propeller. It can be th two blades and save weight, but we actually have a light enough airplane that we can have three blades. We and, have a, and obviously, you've got a clutch on oh, it too, or else clutch. something's loose. <laughs> it's got a clutch, so you can just start it up in your garage and not blow blow the doors off, and and raise all the dust. So, so when you fire smooth. it up, let me interrupt you to say when you fire it up, then. How much throttle advance do you do before the prop starts turning? Oh, it takes more than 3,000 RPM. So okay. it, should, it might just go over like this. I see. Okay. But you can run it at night all day. And it's liquid cooled and it has a dual spark. In other yep. words, two, two, two independent plugs, ignitions. Yep. Uh, and it's designed for aircraft. And it's one of the most popular powered parachute engines that are in the world right now. There's right? literally thousands of these yeah, right. people around for years. Is that a correct statement? Yes. Yeah. Uh, and it has a EarthX lithium battery. We can count. We can count in our airplane empty weight things that our people are taking off to try and get under the 278 pounds, uh, including the battery, the door, the seats, the, even the iPad. <clears throat> so all this stuff is included. And you can we and we have a acrylic brake. Uh, Fungible is the word, meaning fungible, breakable. Yeah. It, it, this will yeah. just bust out of right. the way. The camera right. probably can't see that, but I've got some images, so we'll show right. that. So the BRS is actually in here, and it's not just full of styrofoam or something. It's a full-on BRS. Then it's a air, full airframe, brings the whole airframe down. And you've got the, the five-position flaps. and you get, and uh, they're, they're mechanical, are they? Yeah, Armstrong flaps. And you've got relatively tundra tires for this size airplane they're pretty big, big flotation i'm going to span them here i can span it with my hand but but just barely i would yeah. say that's five or six inches wide that right tire they're is. six inch spun aluminum welded wheels uh, tubeless and it has a uh, hydraulic brakes which are independent so you can put one or the other on just which you can turn on a dime do with your fingers right. up there <clears throat> or or we have a side console for the brakes as well oh, okay and a side throttle and uh, a <clears throat> steerable or castering nose wheel or you could choose the tricycle version. And we have 4.4, a little over four gallons, which is well under the limit uh, on, the, on one wing tank. For those not flying in part 103, you could put the second wing tank here ah. and double the fuel. So you'd have so eight, now, eight, well, now, eight and a third well, gallons three, in. But right now we have three and a half hours endurance. So now you have seven hours endurance. Absolutely. And I the baggage space, you could put a full size air, airline roll on in there, a computer case, a tool bag and your lunch or you can fill it with camping gear uh, and or you can put your favorite pet in there uh, you could it's really a huge space and then you've got um, a, a racing seat belt that's padded and very comfortable uh, temper foam seats all that's included in the weight we just did the weight here at the show so the 278 number comes from 254 which is the number everybody knows and that is the empty weight number without gas and without fluids and some other yes. things but if you add a parachute to it, FAA, so they just allow 24 pounds, which was the average weight of a system when they wrote the rule. The point is you get the 24 plus the 254, there's the 278 number we're talking about, and you were under. Right. Convincingly under 
with everything you yeah. see here. Almost the same interior as the Merlin. And we have six foot six, uh, 240 pound people fit in the Merlin. Part, part 103's got a 63 mile an hour, 55 knot yes. maximum speed at level flight right. uh, at low altitude. Right. Obviously, you can go There's faster no, at altitude and other things, but yes. that's the number. So how do you stay within that number that's, with this? That's super simple. There's no question this is a faster airplane than 63 miles an hour. It's absolutely going to go faster than that. However, if you, find, if you take this adjustable, ground adjustable prop and set it for fine pitch, which is climb, you're going to climb like this. And then you're going to run out of RPM at 63 miles an hour. That will be the maximum speed. And you, have, you feel like there's no trouble to make sure that happens? Oh, it's easy. Okay. That, that, that's simple. That is absolutely guaranteed. Right. That is a, that's a simple matter of taking a protractor, our digital uh, level, and adjusting the prop and going up and proving it. Okay, and then, and so now for, for those that say, look, uh, that 103, that, that's a great, cool thing, and I love it, but you know what? I want, I don't know, something else. They just want other things, and they want to go faster. This particular one has something you call the speed wing on it. So yeah. tell me about the difference in wings and how if someone says, look, I'll amateur build it, uh, let's go down that path, and then what can the airplane do in the performance environment? Well, that, that, there's a, so many different options uh, because... There's even a motor glider option. If we if we increase the wingspan and keep a, a high aspect ratio wing and have a low frontal area with a cowl on here and a clean airplane, you can turn it off, turn the engine off and glide. So it turns into a motor glider. And motor glider has a rule that if you have a gliding license, which you can get with no medical and at age 14 or 15. Yeah, it's very young. I, I don't I don't remember the number. I think 14 fly, is right, actually. To fly a motor at least glider, you can solo at 14. Right. But. To fly a motor glider, you need a logbook endorsement. Right. So now you don't, you can, there's another And avenue, no medical. And no medical. Right. So there's another, and, and then you can enjoy soaring. So there's, there's the whole new repurpose of the airplane. There's another repurpose of it, especially with this wing. If you look at those humongous flaps that are folder flaps that are 50 degrees and these tires and the stall speed of this airplane, you now have a Part 103 ultralight off-field stole airplane for $35,000 <laughs> that you can actually go places and actually land in the grass anywhere you feel like. Yeah, I would, with these big fat tires on it, uh, I, I wouldn't think twice about landing on the grass no, yeah. out here. Or, uh, or, or, or riverbeds or whatnot. Right, and it's so light. Yeah. You know, so a heavier airplane coming down into those environments got to have really good tires and shock absorption and other things because right. you got a lot of weight of well, airplane. The other thing is Here you, you got, a, you know, you're a butterfly landing on the side of the river. Yeah, and if you're, and and there's also insurance risks that that if you have a, a two hundred thousand dollar bush plane, they might not even allow you to fly in the bush. <laughs> I know, suppose that's some, true. I mean, it's, when you rent a, a Cessna, say, are you are you going to land on a grass strip? Yeah, you yeah. can't even land on an airport, in, with some insurance companies. So with this. You can self-insure. It's all modular. Everything right. fits. You buy a liability policy. We can put a new gear on. Uh, speaking of other gear, we have tricycle version, too, which is actually going to be just as good, if not better, of a bush plane because it, it'll rotate faster. Oh, yeah. You, get the, you don't have to lift you the tail up. You get it deeper. Up. Yeah, you, you get can a deeper rotate hurt. right away. Right. And you can fly at a higher angle of attack. So a tricycle version with the balloon tires will, will probably be a better bush plane. Now, you said in your promotional literature that the swap between tail dragger or tricycle or speed wing, which this is, or the longer wing, and I suppose the extensions, those are all, it's the same price for yeah, that. exactly. There's no price difference. Right. And it's interchangeable on the wing. And we normally you, don't go too deep into price, but I feel compelled to do it with this airplane because it's got such a good price point. The 35.5 you're talking about is with that well, parachute. Yeah, of course. And, so, the, and the rest of the airplane, as you see it, there's some well, options on the panel. There's very few options. But not many, so. This could be sold as a kit, and the kit has a zero-hour build time. <laughs> zero hours. Zero build. hours, because the classic manufacturers. You're talking about the fuselage they, when you they say all, that. They only quote the, the, the airframe only in their build hours, because it's so, it's so uh, subjective on the panels and the engine installation. It could double the time of a build. So anybody out there selling experimental is, it quotes build time. We will sell this as a kit, and it's 100% finished. Zero hours build kit. And, uh, and then, Though then you, you can, add. And you can bolt on the engine in one day, and you can put the panel in the second day, and your, and your airplane is done. And that meets the standards. Yes, as, uh, as in Part 103, because there's no standards. Yeah, yeah, okay. For part 103, uh, as a Part 103 right. kit. For, as experimental, for those who want to fly 
faster or over the weight or whatever they want to do experimental, the bigger brother of this, the Merlin, is already on the national kit evaluation team. Ah, okay. evaluation. So we will petition the FAA to allow this as an experimental amateur build. Because it's the same basic the airplane. With a, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a variation of uh, the Merlin. Yeah. Sure. The, the construction is essentially the same. And there's one more thing that I'm that I'm, that I want very badly. My 750 floats that I've made dozens of in the past weigh 30 pounds each, and they're perfect size for this. And That's that happens to be float. the right number. You obviously know that. Yes. There's another thing we mentioned: 254 for the airframe and the engine and everything else. The empty weight, uh, 24 more pounds allowed for the parachute, but also. 60 pounds allowed for floats That's if right. you use two floats or right. there's an option for and my single float and sponsor. 30 pounds each, but you're also taking all this gear off. Uh, yeah. So it's actually going to be lighter than the limit with floats. So you could you could have floats and everything and, st oh, and be still a, be a part 103 be, aircraft. Door off and, and, and uh, fly it as a float plane. Be delightful, yeah, I think. Be a blast. Some people are going to ask, is there an engine option to the Polini? Yes, there's a there's dozens of them. Okay. Because there's a all, there's, give me there's one or two other examples. Well, um, Hertz Vitarazzi Simonini. Okay. And what I'm what I like, electric. Ah, okay. I have electric system proven and flying now on the Zigolo for 50 minutes. The Zigolo can carry two battery packs of uh, 30 pounds each. This airplane has one quarter the drag of a classic ultralight. Right, one right. quarter, and it can carry 50 percent more battery. So the math means I can fly for up to an hour yeah, and a half. An hour plus, yeah, yeah. easy. So. With, the, with the long wing, will we'll, we'll improve the lift over drag ratio. I'll be more efficient. And I'm going to make the cowl for this airplane that fit either the gas engine or the electric. They're, it'll be interchangeable. Great. I'm glad you mentioned the cowl because some people went, oh, well, it looks great. I'm all excited about it, but geez, it needs a cowl. It needs a cowl. Well, it's going to have a cowl. Tell it, me about the cowl. Pound, well, it's going to be a, a, a Less than four pounds for a simple carbon cowl, and that's still. And we have five or six pounds under the weight limit now, so it's no problem to put the cowl and the door on, and still be okay. Beautiful, or beautiful. Or take the door off and, and put a, and put paint on it. So you're completely flexible with this. I'm about out of questions I can ask you, but you know, other people are going to come up with ones I didn't think of. How do we find you on the web, Chip? We'll put it up on the screen. Aeromarine-lsa.com. Okay. A, and I'll. As we flight test this and we gather data, we'll be posting it. Yeah, I want to encourage you to go to that website, not only to get more details and data and talk about ordering or whatnot, but Chip writes a pretty entertaining blog. He's got a great sense of humor I've enjoyed for many years. That comes out in the blog, but you'll enjoy it, and you'll keep people up to date through that. Is yeah, that correct? I'm up to 10 people now reading it, yeah. Oh, 10 people yeah. reading it. That's at once you mean, yes, I'm sure. <laughs> you can find more about this airplane, other airplanes that Chip has rep represented over the years and today, and all these other airplanes you see out here at the Midwest LSA Expo. All that's available on bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for joining Chip Irwin and myself here at Mount Vernon, Illinois. Okay, here we go with the first start of the Polini 250 on the Merlin Light.